Hey, thanks for watching Impossible Color. We've got a cool video today in the before and after series. It's uh, another image that I took on my uh, trip to Washington along the Washington coast. And this one was a little bit challenging because I was really happy with the shapes of the image, but I just didn't have the pop that I wanted. I didn't feel like I was getting a strong contrast and the colors were kind of dull and the time of day wasn't great for an image, but it was pretty much, you know, it just had to be there on a certain schedule. So here's what I came up with in Adobe Camera Raw. You can see that a lot of saturation was brought out in the image and it increased clarity and contrast overall. And I also did a separate exposure for the body and the dark areas of the image. So you can see more detail pops out in the blacks of the shadows here. And the whole body just pops out a lot more. So before and after. So let's open this up into Photoshop. And just to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to put all of this into a new group from layers and call it after. And let's take the first layer and call it before. We'll turn these all on. So this is what I started with and what I ended up with. Quite a dramatic change with this one compared to most in the series. And uh, really, I just kind of wanted to make this a more magical, surreal image that suited the interesting shapes of the area. So how did I get there? Well, this one is quite a few steps to get that look. You can see the first step is to get some more exposure in certain areas that were lost, like the, the rocks I was talking about and the body. So that was that second exposure. And then I did some touch-ups you can kind of see there's just some odd little dots that are drawing attention unnecessarily. You can see at the edge of the frame here, little variations in color at the edge. They, that always makes it look a little bit distracting. You, you should always take a kind of a browse along the edges of your image entirely and see if you can get that stuff cleaned up. So we'll turn that on. And you'll also notice something we were doing. Uh, we were climbing through some pretty tough terrain to get to this area. So the model actually, she tied up her dress <laughs> into this little knot. And we forgot about it for the next uh, few photos. But uh, I really wanted to work with this image. So I put in the effort to just kind of sample some other areas of the dress and smooth that out a bit. So the next level, uh, the next adjustment is this level here. Uh, just getting everything brightened up a little bit. You can see I actually brought in both of the ends here to get a little bit more contrast. And I did a color balance adjustment. You can see a lot more red is brought into the image. Um, we, do, we can do a quick look through here. We start with the shadows. You can see a lot of red brought in. Slight tweaks to the magenta and yellow areas. Um, Midtones, just a few tweaks. And the highlights, quite a bit of blue added to the highlights. Then the selective color, adjusting each color individually. Kind of corrects that odd purpley sky that was coming through with the uh, color balance change that we made. So I always like to do both the selective color and the color balance together. 
they serve different needs and I think they're both equally important in their own way. I did a slight selective color adjustment. You're probably not seeing it on your screen there. It's very subtle. But usually I try to number of different things and sometimes I combine them. So this is look like a pretty vast open space, but I don't want the eyes kind of wandering around to these other parts of the image. I kind of want to just the relationship between the model and a little bit of this central area. So I did a vignette. And it's it's quite subtle. Um, when you do vignettes, it, it's not... I think it looks pretty cheap if you if you go really strong and you can see the transition point uh, really well defined. So I try to go really loose. If I'm going for a really voyeuristic look or intentionally quirky, I might push it a little bit further, but this seems to work. Also, as I mentioned in a prior video, if you were to go and just do your vignette on normal, you can see that it looks kind of smoky. But if you set it to luminosity, it says just take the value. So your dark and lightness uh, value and keep the color what's underneath. So it's just a good little trick to maintain that information. Next up, I did a noise reduction. We're going to come through and do some other tweaks. So I did a bit of dodge and burn. Let's see, we'll zoom in here. And you can see on the face, these highlights are helping to find the features of the face a little bit more. And if we zip down to the dress, you can see a lot more definition between the lights and darks of the dress. And we're going to push that even further with the another curves adjustment layer that's going to handle the burn. So what exactly is happening there? Well, you can look at the curves. I grabbed a point in the middle and I brought it up. So along this curve, everything is becoming a little bit brighter, um, but it's not blowing out either either end. So it's mostly the midtones that are gradually fading off. And the same thing with the the burn is just in the opposite direction, so everything's getting darker, but the extremes are still protected, so those aren't going to look obvious. And together, we'll just add a lot more definition there. And let's turn on the final layer. And this one is a slight color tweak. Just one more layer of refinement. And that's the image. Just kind of warms it up a little bit. Brings it all together. So let's turn off the after. So you get this cool image that we started with that has a lot of things in shadow and it's kind of dull in color and, and very flat looking and and then we brought it out to this. It looks more artistic and surreal. I hope you like the quick video here. If there's anything that you want to ask about, any of the techniques that I use, please just uh, put something in the comment section below. And if you want to press the magical subscribe button below, wow, you're in for something really special. See you next time. This is Impossible Color.